Hello everyone, my name is Mirko and welcome back to another brand new Apex Legends video. So we have literally just received breaking news about Season 2 during EA's live event and there is so much to cover but I have to squeeze it all in for you guys. So before we jump any further, if you guys go ahead and enjoy the video, be sure you're dropping a like down below and also comment your thoughts on Season 2 so far. Are you looking forward to it? Is it a little bit of a letdown? Were you expecting more? But without further ado guys, let's jump into the first huge part of Season 2. So as I'm sure most of you guys are aware, Watson, which is the new legend coming to Season 2, has been leaked quite a few times and it turns out the leaks are actually true. So Watson's tactical ability is placing down these defensive fences. You can place 12 nodes down and you can place them in any sort of shape you want to. It doesn't have to be in a circular shape and that gives a player more freedom to set out a really defensive structure. We currently don't know too much more about these fences, but what else we do know is that teammates can go through them and as soon as teammates walk walk by them they actually turn themselves off and Watson's ultimate ability is absolutely crazy I think it's going to be very overpowered and I could definitely see why a lot of people are going to use this legend so let's just start off with it's basically like a decoy you place this thing down on the floor and it stops any incoming grenades arc stars and completely protects you from them explosives as well not only that but it charges your whole team's shield as well at the same time and also recharges your tactical faster this thing is also a permanent structure until it's been destroyed by another team. And the passive for Watson is that the ultimate accelerants gives Watson 100% charge. Definitely let me know what your thoughts are of Watson down below in the comment section. I personally think this is probably the best defensive legend we're going to be seeing in Apex Legends and the developers themselves said they wanted to uh, introduce a defensive character to Apex and they've definitely done so. Now I'm not going to be covering everything that was introduced in EA's live stream but the next thing I'm going to talk about is the new weapon which is the L-Star which is only available in care packages and these are the developers words not mine they literally said this weapon is op that's why it's in care packages so there's definitely going to be a lot of people raging when they're getting shot by this thing because it has such a fast fire rate as well but i guess we won't know how good it is until we get hands on with it so they didn't show too much with the l star but they showed the fire rate how the gun feels and i guess we'll just have to wait until season two launches to see how much damage this does and to see the true stats of this weapon so the last thing i I'm really excited to talk to you guys about which has just been announced is a new ranked mode coming to apex legends which is meant to be really competitive even more competitive than the elite queue we have currently got and there's going to be six tiers you have to go through so it goes from bronze all the way up to apex predator apex predator being the best tier you can get into and each tier actually has its own matchmaking so you're going to get drawn against players to your specific level and in the same tier now they have stated if you do end up actually being a really good player and get into the highest tier you might have some matchmaking issues because they're going to draw you against the best players around your region so they said if you are a really good player and you do get that high you might have to wait in the queue for a few minutes or so they also did state that the higher you get in tiers the more rewards you'll get when it comes to the end of season two so i suggest you guys get practicing for season two because you're going to want to be going on to ranked mode and ranking high tiers because you're going to be getting better rewards the higher tier you are coming to the end of season two so anyway guys this is all i got for you i wanted to include the main three things which was watson the new weapon and the new game mode there's loads of other awesome things that are coming as well like skins and there's also a huge map event that is happening during season two or multiple events they didn't want to say too much about that but we know that we're going to be seeing some in-game events happening to the map which is also really exciting anyway thank you all for watching this video enjoy the rest of your day and i'll catch all of you guys out as always in another apex legends video Bye.